all right so this is what i have in the scene so if you look at this if i play through you can see what i have i already have a um, animated um, objects coming up and um, playing through so that is what i have and the reason why i have this setup is so that i can have the particle down before the car start coming up to interact with it so and i tried simulating in the minus um um frames to so that i can stop at start at zero i noticed it wasn't really giving me the good result so uh i had to just use this so this is what i'm going to have so i'm going to start by creating a real flow emitter object circle emitter object and i'm i'm fine with the everything i have here so i'll go under emission so what i'm going to do for the emission is that i'm going to keyframe this um, speed for the emission all right so but then if we play through we have this object flowing falling down and it's just falling through down and we are going to try and break up this because we don't want to see this particle down here. So I'm going to use um, a daemon called um, K volume, which is also known as K volume. So if I go to K volume, I'm going to set the um, location, the boundary where I want the stuff is. So I'm just going to scale this down to till I'm fine. So if I go to I got the front view to see what I have. I can scale this down just to set the place where I want this. Um, so anything outside this box should be killed. Any particle that tries to go off this box should be dealt with. All right. So I'm going to just leave that here. And I think that's fine for me. So I could just come here and hide this key volume. And also this is kind of distracting. So I can just go to the scene, go to the display. I'm going to get rid of the display icon. So everything looks clean. So if I go back and play now, you notice this particle keeps falling. And as soon as it gets down, it starts being killed off. So that's fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is also to add gravity to this because it's just falling anyhow. So I'm just bring up gravity so that it falls. It has a free fall. So if I play through, notice it falls down freely and that's fine. But then now I, know I need things to interact with this. So I'm just going to go to the container, right click on it and go to real flow tag. Add the collider, right click again, go to reflow to add the volume. So on the volume, I'm going to change um, this volume mode, remove the auto and make it shell because of the space inside. And also I'm going to go to the cell size. I've actually tested this out, so I'll just go through to the value. So I'm just uh, changing this to one, um, kind of make things fine and i'm liking this all right okay <clears throat> so that's the first thing the next thing i'm going to do is to go to the um collider tag then i'm going to change some things i want to change the collision distance to 0 0.001 so that I just have a little bit then i'll reduce this bounce bring friction up because we're trying to simulate sand, so we're going to increase the friction. All right. So if I go back and play through and OK, I can still get away with this. Then if, if you are not seeing this particle well enough, you could just go to the um, field, fluid um, objects, go to the display and change the size of the particle so we can see more. I think this is fine. All right. Okay, so at this point we are playing through and we are not really simulating sound effects because this um, still kind of 
having a fill of liquid. So for me to change this to sand, what I'm going to do is I'll go to the um, fluid, go to the fluid tab of the fluid, and I'm going to change the type from liquid PBD to granular. So this is what makes this object looks more like a, a sand um, stuff. So once I have that change, if I play through, I'm going to see this falls and notice it starts piling up just like sand. All right. Okay. So um, I don't want everything to just come up, start piling up from this place. So I need to kind of animate this um, emitter. So what I'll do is I'll start at this point. Once this thing gets to like 30, I'm going to keyframe this emitter here. Um, just keyframe the Z position, then move up to this place, uh, bring this up a little bit somewhere here, keyframe that, and bring it back here, just so that I'll be sure that it's not going up. So we have this movement, so it moves. So once it gets here, I want it to stay a little bit before it comes back. So I'll just duplicate this, hold down control and drag. So it stays a little bit before it comes. So the timing at which it stays is also important. So I'll just leave it for this number of frames and then come in. Okay. So if I go to the Mercedes-Benz car, so it start coming up at 160. Okay, so that's really fine. So I can now come to this and also keyframe the particle. So if I go to this um, emitter, go to the object, sorry, the emission, I want to keyframe the speed. So at this point, uh, yeah, I actually wanted to. So once it gets here, I want the speed to stop from. 200 and just move up a little bit and bring it to zero and keyframe that. So that's that object will just fill up. So if we look through now, this is what we're going to have seeing the particle filling up. And now you have this, then it comes back, stays a little bit, then stop. So um, I think I'm fine with this effect. All right, but then this particle kind of um, looks so blobby and the spaces in between them, you notice that each of these particles, the spaces in between them is quite large. And the reason is because the resolution is low. So that's why the spaces in between them is that um, large. So what I can do is to bring this resolution up a little bit. So let's just try 20 um, just for test purpose. So if I look through, you notice we have more particle and also the spacing in between them becomes really small. So this is just what you get right off the bat without changing any settings for the granular. So um, you notice it still looks quite like um, sand. So um, I just, I'm just i just going to do some changes to this and I'm not really going to Dive deep, dive deep into what each and everything here does. For you to do that, I, I would recommend you checking Sam's um, Samuel's tutorial from Digital Meet. He really broke down everything about this. So I would put a link in the description so you can just go and check what each of every of these things what they do. So, but for the purpose of this, uh, I'm going to just change this value. So I'm going to bring the friction up because I actually want. Um, the particle to have more friction. So I'm going to just bring it up to like 5, 0 0.5. Then for the compartment, I want the object to kind of get clustered together. So then I'm going to use this compact, compartition sort of and bring this up a little bit. So maybe that is fine. Then I um, actually use um, 0 0.35, but that's still close enough. And for the coercion, I'm also bringing this up to like 0 0.77, uh, 0 0.077 there about. Then for the roughness, um, just a little bit of roughness, just introduce a little bit of it. And talking will kind of make the 
particles stack up together. So I can also introduce a little bit of stacking to this object. I think um, um I think this is fine really. And you, you can just look at these settings and and also check other things. You can also play with your settings and see the effect you get have. So if we go back and try and see the effect we have for this, you notice that these objects stick together more than we had before. You can notice that they stick more together. And I think this is pretty much fine for what I'm looking for or looking at. And then I need to also create a tag for the Mercedes Benz by the time it's coming up to interact with it. So let's just do everything in one go and cache this simulation before we go to the final caching. So if I right click on this Benz, I will go over to real flow tag, add the collider, go again, right click, real flow tag, add the volume. So for the collider also, I'm going to change um, the friction up, bring it up, really pump it up and bring the bounce down, a little bit down so that we don't have too much of a bounce. Then also for the volume, we're going to change this also and also bring the cell size down to one. And then I think for this, I'm just going to take the fluid up a little bit. Uh, maybe like 50 then I'm going to run a cache on this object and once I'm done with this cache we see the effect we get half then we we'll now go to a higher resolution and run cache on that so if I go to the cache I'm going to set to a folder that I want to cache to so I'm going to cache to I actually created one folder here okay so this is it the sand folder and i'm going to choose that sand folder click okay and just cache it over here so i'm just caching and once it's done i'm going to post this once it's done we'll get back and see what we have before we go to the final cache all right so we're done this is 14 minutes and 3.4 gig and we're still going up actually so let's just play through let's see what we have okay so it's going to play through the first set and it's going to be quite slow once it's done it's going to show it to play through in real time and i think i should even do a hardware rendering so we can see this play through in real time all right uh, but then let me just post this and scrub through and see what this gives me okay so now the thing here now is i've uh, the particle are quite too much so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to reduce the particle first off either by reducing the size of the stuff and also i think I'm, that's what i'm going to do so let's just reduce this object and take this to like 60 by 60 and then come to this place a mission where i have the 200 i think i'm going to change that to like 150 Okay, then I'm going to re-simulate this and also once I'm done re-simulating, I'm going to do the hardware rendering of it so we can see um, this object in real time. All right, so let's just go to this and remove cache and simulate again. So I'll be back once this is done. Okay, so I'm back. If you check, I've done the simulation. So if you look at what I have here, and this is what I have. You see the way this interacts and creates. So that is the effect I get to have with this simulation. So what I'm going to do now is, um, that's pretty much everything. So if you come to my settings, it's pretty much everything I had then before now. 
the only thing I changed was just um, the size of um, the meter and also the speed. That's just the only thing I changed. So what I'm going to do now is I, I, I pretty much this is everything. If you want to stick around to check the final simulation, then fine. But if not, you could just go with the settings and this is pretty much everything to how to achieve um, this sound effect. All right. So I'll just go to this fluid and increase the simulation. So let's say uh, 120. And then I'll just go back and do that. Remove cache and simulate. So I'll be. Okay. So here you go. After all the setup, so this is what I ended up doing. So I changed the resolution to 100, and these are the settings for this um, simulation. So you could just post this and check this up. So that's just pretty much everything I do. So if you check what I have, this is what I have now. Okay, so you have the car coming and so that's how I came about this kind of result. So um, I'm going to stop this here. So you can also check the settings and just play around and also work with your own setting and see whatever results you get have. So this is just how I came about this. And if you feel this was helpful, please do give me a like and a thumbs up because um, this helped me on YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe because I do tutorials like this every day. So do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.